Welcome back to another Pencil 2D tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to draw a basic frame-by-frame -frame animation. I have the Pencil tool selected, and I'm just going to left-click and hold and draw a little circle in the bottom left-hand corner of this canvas. This white square is really our frame, and it's actually a key frame. It's frame 1. And look down here at the bottom. We have these different layers. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We have frame 1 that we're on, and we're on a bitmap layer. There's also vector layers and camera layers, and we can add and remove to get different layers. There's different types of layers, but in this case, we're working with a bitmap layer, which, we, which means we're, we're kind of drawing pixel by pixel and sort of freehand drawing. And we're on this frame 1. If I want to advance to frame 2, I can click this plus sign right here next to keys, and that will add a, another keyframe. So now we're on keyframe 2, and if I just click here, we can draw another part of this circle. Notice we can see in a lighter gray the, the circle we drew before, and we can come down here and click on frame 1 and toggle between the two of them. If I want to get back in and make changes on frame 1, I can still come in here and maybe grab the Erase tool, for example, and erase part of that. And I can go back into frame 2, and I can grab uh, another tool or the same tool, and I can add to it and draw more on it. And if I click the plus sign again, I advance to the third frame, so I can sort of draw what that third frame will look like. And we can keep doing these steps over and over again. And if we want to get back to one, we can. So that's four, this is frame five, this is frame six. And we see down in here, if we look closely, every one that has a drawing in it has a darker shaded blue rectangle. So down here on these other two tracks, they only have something active on a frame one. But uh, the bitmap layer has things active on frames one, two, three, four, and five, uh, and six, it looks like. And if we want to play this back, we can come over here. There's a little playhead. We click this play, and it'll play through our animation once and then stop. We can zoom in a little bit up here. And if we want to repeat over and over again, we can click this loop, select this loop icon. And when that's selected, it'll just loop over and over again. It's going through frame one through six, and it's just playing that animation. And then we can keep coming. We can see how that looks. If we like it, we can just keep adding keyframes in here and drawing more to our animation. And it's just a very simple example. We could make this as detailed as we wanted to. We can even import drawings and pictures from other programs. But I'll just show you real quick here how we would do an animation. Oh, what did it say? Oh, uh, I'm going to say never ask again. If you don't save your animation, it just reminds you. Control Z. It'll just remind you that you don't have a saved animation because it wants to make sure you don't lose your work. And notice here too, we can draw off of the, we can go out of frame if we want to. We can draw in this gray area. It just won't be shown in our uh, in our animation unless we move the camera into that bound, which we'll learn how to do um, in a future tutorial. So now let's see what this looks like. It's it's looping over and over again, and we see this. We have this nice sort of animation here. Now, if I want to save this. Um, I can go to File, and we learned previously I can go File, Save, but that'll just save my project so that I can get back in and keep making changes or keep working on it. But if I want to save it in a format that people can watch, like a video format or an image animated image format, I can go to Export, and I can go Export Movie, Export Image Sequence, or Export just a single image, just the image that's on the current frame, frame 14. Um, or we can do that anim animated GIF, or some people call this GIF. So it's a .gif extension, and uh, this is what I'll do here. So I'll just leave it, call it untitled. I'll put it on the uh, desktop, and we'll go save. And then here's just some information. It's 800 width uh, and 600 height, and it's starting at frame 1, ending at frame 15. Sometimes you may want to change that a little bit, and then we're telling it to loop when it gets to the end. And we're not, we don't have any sound associated with this, so we're not doing sound. I'll just click OK, and it exports it. It says, do you want it to open? I'll just say sure. And now it will open this up, the location of it. And so we can find this and click it. And this will open up. This can be displayed in a web browser. Uh, so if, if you can embed it in like a website or something, we can go to this. Uh, if I just open up Firefox here, I think I can just drag this on. And we'll be able to watch the playback happening within the web browser. So it's really cool. And then we can also embed this into a website and have this animation play. Um, we can also export, uh, like I mentioned, as a series of images. So we can export a, a sequence of images, and then we can bring that into a video editing program or another program and, and do some some more work on it if we wanted to. Or we can just export it as a uh, 
Oh, that's import. We can export it as a movie as well. And so we can, I can dot MP4 and we can play it in a video player or add it to a video project. So hopefully you found this informative. Um, in the next video, we'll talk more about um, there's these onion skin features, how to control that, what's being displayed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.